Hey everyone, it's Mari here and I've got another project this week for the Just Nick Digital Cut File Design Team. And I'm going to be using two files from the shop this week, this gorgeous UR cut file that you can see cut in black here. And then another one called Spiky Flowers, which you'll see a little bit later in the process. I'm going to be scrapping this four by three photograph of my daughter. This is the morning of her wedding and she is attempting to open a champagne bottle, which was pretty hilarious to watch. And so I'm just going to be documenting that today. Now what I did was I cut the UR cut file from this black American Crafts textured cardstock and you can see here what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the outline of the cut file onto my patterned paper and then I'm just going to take the um, the letters and place them onto my layout using this outline so that I can get them into the proper place and get them stuck down in sort of like a really straight fashion, which I don't think I would have been able to achieve just by eyeballing it and putting those letters back onto my layout. So you'll just see me taking the pieces off of my cut mat here, and I'm going to just adhere some liquid glue onto there and then we are go and then what I'm going to do is just stick this into the spots where it goes here on the layout. So you'll just see me doing that here for this one piece just to demonstrate how I went about doing this and then um, you'll see when it's all finished up here through the magic of film editing. So just going to whip that black piece off of there and then it's all going to be finished up. So I'm just going to carefully take that off of there. There is a little bit of glue that seeped in underneath. So I just want to make sure that I don't tear anything and take that off very carefully. You can see there that I had it taped on the bottom with some washi tape just so that it didn't move before I initially got started. Now that's all done. And what I wanted to do was cut down this paper, this pattern paper here, a little bit, a quarter of an inch on all sides. And then I wanted to take this leopard print paper and use that as a border. These papers and embellishments other than obviously these gorgeous cut files are from Heidi Swap's Color Fresh collection. If you haven't seen this collection, it is beautiful. I mean, all the heart eyes for this stuff. It is gorgeous. And I really love the uh, black and pink together. And I just really wanted to use this as a little border around my layout. So I wanted to just get that so that I could save the rest of that leopard paper for something else. And you'll see that I'm actually going to mat the photograph using that same paper. Paper. So there you can see I'm just going to place that uh, plaid, pink plaid paper there and that will be my um, base for the rest of my layout. This patterned paper, the pink plaid, is so pretty. It actually has some distressing and some text on it as well, which is really gorgeous. Now I also cut the spiky flowers from another piece of pattern paper from this collection and I'm going to just release the little blooms here. I decided not to use the stems for this particular layout and I'm going to flip those over and use them as kind of like a circular uh, die cut for my layout here for an embellishment and I really like how this turns out. Now I only end up using three so I'm just going to actually put these other three in with the die cuts from the Color Fresh collection so that I can use them on another project using that same collection and I just really like how this looks. I think it's really super sweet and the pattern on that pattern paper is just really subtle and I love how the you can really see a lot of the white on that pattern paper with those little spiky flowers. Now I'm just going to take my repositionable adhesive here and um, put that down onto, put the base down onto my frame and get that all stuck down. And then I'm just going to take that leopard paper and mat, do a really thin mat on my photograph here. I didn't want it to be too bold. There's already quite a bit of black on the, the layout. So I just wanted it to be just a tiny little bit of a frame around my photo. You can see I just popped the photo up there with a little bit of craft foam and that is going to give my photo some nice dimension. Now I'm going to create three little cluster areas with these little spiky flower blooms. I'm going to pop them up on some foam adhesive and give them a little bit of dimension in that way. And then I'm going to take one of the little die cut blooms from Color Fresh and put that in the center of the spiky flowers just to give them a little bit more detail. And I actually will take some uh, foam adhesive and pop those little blooms up, up in the center of those spiky flowers as well. I thought about using these little frame 
uh, corners, but I decided not to do that. I thought that it just kind of took away from the photographs, so I'm not going to use them. I did try though because I love them, but they're not going to work for this layout. I also tried a few other little bits and pieces from Colorfresh, and you'll just see uh, here what I end up sticking with. I really like this uh, just for fun. Um, I think that's what it says something like that, um, that piece there that's, uh, or just have fun, I think it says. And, and I love how that gold accent there just looks really nice with that piece of vellum that has some uh, print on it as well. And I'm going to end up adhering that with some vellum adhesive to the photograph. I'm going to take some little gold puffy hearts and add those as a little bit more gold on the layout as well in the, li the little spiky flower cluster areas. And then I'm just gonna take and rip up a corner, a little torn area and staple that in two spots, one at the bottom and then one at the top, just above the photograph there. So you just take it, you just cut, just you know, rip a little straight tear, fold those back Pull the little corners back, take your stapler, staple it a couple times, and it just adds a little bit of neat detail to your project. Now there's that vellum adhesive. You'll just see me take that and add that to the back of that little piece of vellum, which I have stapled to that um, acetate piece that says, just have fun. And now you can see that I also added the word loved in the puffy phrase from Color Fresh as well to the bottom of my phrase. You are sweet, amazing, incredible, everything loved. I love that. And I love the little addition of those hearts on that cut file as well. Now what I did was I did my journaling just in Microsoft Word. I use, the font that I use is called Special Elite. It looks like an old fashioned typewriter font, which I really love. And I use 11 point font when I'm uh, creating this, this uh, journaling. I always triple space it so that there's tons of room to cut the strips in exactly the, the width that I want. And in this case, I actually used my little guillotine trimmer to cut these so that they would be a little more straight than just using scissors. I often will just use scissors too, just because it's super quick. But sometimes if it's a really linear looking layout like this one that doesn't really have any mixed media, it's really not meant to be messy. It's meant to have more of a linear look. Um, I like to make sure that my journaling is super, super straight and cut um, with a, a proper cutter. So you'll just see me taking my tweezers there and my fine line bottle and I'm just going to add a little bit of liquid adhesive to my journaling and I will stick that down and my layout is going to very soon be finished. So uh, there's a whole bunch of new cut files over in the Just Nick shop. Um, this month, Nicole's got, just got some beautiful designs again. Um, this particular file just has my heart. I love it. There's so many neat ways that you could use this. You could use the words individually if you wanted for a title. You could just have you are sweet if you wanted. Um, there's a lot of possibilities with this cut file and I just just really, really love it. I love the font as well. And I like the combination of the scripty you are and then the uh, different font for the other parts of it. Now I am going to just take some little doodle bug designs, um, heart enamel hearts, and I'm going to stick those down on each one of the little black hearts that's part of the cut file. I think I used three different colors or two different colors here, maybe just to uh, stay in line with the colors of those little centers of the spike flowers and I really like how that just adds a little bit more extra detail. There are going to be some still shots at the end of this video if you want to stick around for that and thank you so much for stopping by. I will leave the link to the Just Nick shop in the description box below so that you can head over to the cut file shop and see all of the beautiful and amazing cut files by Nicole. I wanted to just add to you, I'm not sure if you can see it here, but I did add a little bit of sewing with my sewing machine around the edges of of the layout just as a little border tiny little border around the very edge of the layout and that's going to be it for my project today uh, if you like this please make sure that you give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe if you haven't and i am so grateful that you stopped by my channel today have an amazing day and i hope to see you another time bye bye